baby, just Brian McKnight is known for his classic love songs like Back at One, One Last Cry, and Any Time. For many years, he has been celebrated for his musical contributions in the form of 17 Grammy nominations, a Soul Train Award, and an NAACP Image Award. But as the years passed by, a dark secret about his private life was exposed. As of this video, he has fathered five children with three different women, and he has been accused of abandoning his eldest children. Things have gotten so bad between him and his children that RRG can exclusively confirm that one of his children even sued him. Before we jump into other people's business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky to green apple licorice and bacon cheddar popcorn. To give you some better insight into this story, we'll just start off by saying that Brian was born on June 5, 1969, which makes him a Gemini. If this information doesn't appeal to you, that's fine. But some of our RRG besties really appreciate it when we divulge a celebrity's zodiac sign. So anyway, moving on. His relationship issues started when he began dating his college sweetheart, a woman named Julie. 20-year-old Brian was shooting the club up and got her pregnant. Julie told him she wasn't going to keep the baby, and Brian told All Black website that he was relieved. Later on, he found out Julie changed her mind, so he decided to marry her in 1990, and their son Brian Jr. was born that same year. Two years later, they welcomed their second son, Nico. Brian was far from being a great husband, though. In November 2001, while still legally married to Julie, he fathered a baby girl with a woman named Patricia Driver, making him a father of three children by two women. Brian and Julie got divorced sometime around 2003 after 13 years of marriage. He told Oprah Where Are They Now it was a mistake for him to get married so young. In an effort to give others some relationship advice, Brian said, When you decide to make a commitment to someone, make sure that person has everything you want. According to sources, he started dating a mother of two named Annalisa Mungle sometime around 2007. And then some crazy allegations were made against Brian and his sons. An adult star named Alana Evans was visiting Brian's home in December 2008. Brian was in New York, but his sons, who were 15 and 17 at the time, were at the residence, along with a man named Nicholas Hayes. Two days after visiting the home, the woman told police Nicholas took advantage of her while Brian's sons allegedly held her down. According to Brian, the police concluded that a sexual assault didn't take place and the charges were dropped. Brian proposed to Annalisa at his 2010 Valentine's Day concert, and she said yes. Just two months later, TMZ uncovered court docs that showed Brian was accused of fathering a baby with a woman named Miriam. After taking a DNA test, it was revealed that Brian was not the father. He and Annalisa set their wedding date for July 2, 2011, but Brian decided to drop her like a hot potato instead. He told Oprah Where Are They Now he had made enough mistakes in his love life and he wasn't willing to make any more. As a single man, he proceeded to let his freak flag fly. In 2012, after injuring his ankle, he was stuck in the house and decided to record an X-rated anthem about a woman's meat wallet. The song is called If You're Ready to Learn, and it goes a little something like this. <clears throat> let me show you how your three works. Bet you didn't know that it could squirt. Child, what the hell? Brian later told TMZ that he was just bored and the song was just a parody. Either way, opportunity came knocking. The adult industry offered to fly him to their annual awards gala so he could sing the song live on stage, and another adult website asked if they could license the song for their website's background music. With the adult community beating its door down, Brian decided to capitalize on the newfound fame by recording a brand new song for an adult website. According to TMZ, the song was all about the exploration of a woman's Hershey Highway. And guess who he added as the feature rap artists on the track? His 19 and 22 year old sons, Brian Jr. and Nico. A writer for Madame Noir website wrote, Brian is still in the running for worst dad of the year. I really hope this is just a midlife crisis phase he's going through. 
The music video was filmed at his Los Angeles home. According to Madame Noir, Brian didn't show his face in the raunchy video. Instead, the lead role was played by a little person that goes by the name of Five Cent. Brian's two sons were also in the video. As they rapped about the rug burns they received during intimate acts, they were surrounded by 15 adult stars in bikinis. According to TMZ, the adult company uploaded the music video to YouTube, but YouTube took it down and deemed it inappropriate content. The adult company then re-uploaded just the song's audio, and YouTube took it down again. Maybe that was a sign for Brian to stick to making traditional R&B music. That same year he was singing about dookie love, he met a pediatric neurophysiologist and mother of two named Leilani Mendoza at a fitness convention. They hit it off right away, but Leilani must have Googled his freaky self because she told him straight up that if he thought he was gonna get the draws right away, he was sadly mistaken. Brian still flew to her hometown of Seattle the following weekend and proceeded to wine and dine her. They moved in together after one year of dating, and Brian put everything into being a good partner and a father figure to her children. He told the Montgomery Advertiser he was truly in love for the first time in his life. He announced their engagement in May 2017, and they became husband and wife in 2018. While all this was going on, people wondered where Brian's children from his previous relationships were, especially his two sons. They were so tight at one point and were making musical masterpieces together. But as soon as Leilani entered the picture, it was almost as if his sons didn't even exist. Well, in 2019, his children Brian Jr. and Brianna aired him all the way out by accusing Brian of abandoning them. Brianna wrote on Instagram that she grew up thinking her dad didn't want to visit her because he didn't love her. She also said it hurt her to see him put Leilani's children before his own biological children. Brian Jr. also called him a bad grandfather. While stating that he had been trying to take the high road, Brian Jr. added, There is a much bigger issue here when it comes to black fathers, especially in entertainment, that need to be addressed. What issue was he referring to exactly? Well, perhaps Junior was talking about the various black entertainers that have multiple children and are unable or refuse to play a role in all of their children's lives. Some of those public figures who've been called out by their children include Scottie Pippen and Dr. Dre, both of which we've discussed in previous videos linked in the description box. According to the Jasmine brand, Brian denied he was an absent father. He said he always paid his child support on time and was in his children's lives, up until he decided to cut the oldest ones off financially. Brian admitted that this occurred around the same time he started dating Leilani. Of course, people blamed Leilani for coming in between Brian and his children, but he made it clear that she actually tried to mend the broken relationship, and his children were ungrateful and, quote, spit in her face at every turn. Brian spoke about how Leilani tried to get his son's jobs at the hospital she worked at, but they couldn't stop smoking long enough to pass the substance test. Brian also accused Brian Jr. of breaking into his home and putting X's on the eyes of his and Leilani's wedding pictures before replacing the picture with a photo of his mom, Julie. Due to those actions, Brian said he was estranged from his sons because they had officially crossed the line. As for his daughter, Brianna, Brian initially claimed she was a part of the family. That included him, Leilani, and Leilani's two children. But then, he posted a video on social media and revealed that his relationship with Brianna had gone sour after he told the authorities about a rumor concerning Brianna having an alleged intimate relationship with an older cousin. Brian said he didn't know what happened with the investigation, but he later discovered Brianna's mother blocked Leilani and Leilani's son from contacting Brianna on social media. Brian said, So what that told me was they didn't want me to be involved in her life that way, considering her mother only had a child with me for money in the first place. Welp, Brian goofed up big time for bringing that particular allegation to social media. RRG did some digging, and we discovered that in 2020, Brianna slapped him with a lawsuit. In court documents obtained by our nosy selves, Brianna, who was 18 at the time, sued Brian, whom she described as her estranged father, for defamation and invasion of privacy after he posted the video and accused her of having an intimate relationship with her cousin. She later amended her complaint to add new claims of Brian failing to pay for a $1 million life insurance policy per the terms of a 2003 family law judgment. Brianna and Brian reached a private settlement in February 2023. 
Through the years, Brian has made it clear via his social media accounts that he considers himself, Leilani, and Leilani's children his family. Almost every single post is a love declaration to his wife, which is cute. But it's the posts about Leilani's children that have angered many social media users. Brian publicly dotes on her children and brags about buying them lavish gifts. In one post, he called Leilani's daughter the perfect daughter I always wanted. One can only imagine how Brianna felt after seeing that post. He and Leilani conceived a baby boy in 2021. In an Instagram post, Brian made another dig toward his older children by writing, For the very first time in my life, I got to experience what it's like to want to and plan to have a child made from love. In a Mother's Day 2022 tribute, Brian revealed they lost the baby. In his post, he wrote, Our son will always be a part of us and live on in our hearts forever. I've never been prouder in my life than I am right now, being the father to our three incredible children. Fans called him out for abandoning his three older biological children and have continued to do so over the years. Brian now either limits the comments or turns them off completely so he can live his life without any judgment. In January 2023, Brian and Leilani announced the birth of their son. They named him Brian McKnight, which is a bit odd considering Brian's eldest son is already named after him. Days later, Brian penned an open letter to his newborn son and shared it on Instagram. Brian wrote, After I'm gone, I bestow upon you all of the fruits of my labor as my true heir to take care of you and yours for the generations to come. Obviously, the baby can't read. So many people took the letter as a way for Brian to publicly slap his other children right in the face. This brings us to the question, why has Brian abandoned his three eldest children? Unfortunately, we don't have the answer. However, VeryWell.com states that parents who abandon their children often do so because they believe they are ill-equipped to provide the emotional and financial stability the child needs. The long-term effects of abandonment can cause children to feel insecure in relationships, and they may even suffer from codependency. CPTSDfoundation.org also states people who have experienced abandonment may be more likely to have long-term mental health disorders, including mood swings and anger issues. We can't even imagine the pain they must feel when they read their dad's posts and see him looking happier than a pig in slop with his new family. Some parents who have withdrawn from their children's lives later recognize their mistake and wish to seek forgiveness and restore the relationship. One can only hope that Brian will do the same at some point. Because no matter how much love and support a child receives from their mother, friends, and other family members, nothing and no one can replace a father's love. Besties, please do us a favor by leaving loving words of support and encouragement in the comments section for Brian's children. And as always, Thanks for watching RRG.